Hello everybody, thank you very much for watching. In this video, I will show you how to set up Microsoft Azure Virtual Windows 10 machine and connect from your Samsung Deck station. So, right, a couple of apps you will need to download from Google Play Store. So if you go to the store or Google Play Store, and the first app, which one you need to find, if you just search for RDP, so if you search for these three letters, RDP, one of the search results will be this. This is a Microsoft Remote Desktop uh, Android app, which allows you to connect to uh, remote desktop um, servers. So Windows 10 VM or Azure will provide uh, remote desktop connectivity. So we'll use this app to connect and obviously use it. And the next app which you will need to download is called Microsoft Azure. So if you just search for Azure, this is the app you're looking for. It's free to download. And this will allow us to, um, well, first of all, it gives you like a, a maintenance, uh, uh, maintenance information for your old, uh, for your all Microsoft Azure VMs. So you can check the performance, storage, etc., etc. So this is what's going to help, but this is going to help us a lot to make a connection to our virtual Windows 10 machine. And I will explain to you why in a second and obviously you need to go to uh, Google search for Microsoft Azure connect to create an account if you don't have and uh, by now and you'll have an option to click on the portal so if I go back and I click on the link which I used before at the top right next to sign in but at the moment automatically I connected there's a button that says portal if I click on this button portal that's where I will end up what's this I just spilled something on my monitor right okay so we are in Microsoft Azure dashboard. So we need to create a virtual machine and we're gonna create a virtual machine for Windows 10. On the left hand side, if I click on virtual machines, my list is empty and the big blue button says create virtual machine. So I'm gonna click on that. And this gives me a, a form to fill in. So I can go and start filling the form and uh, create this, but let's say if you don't want the virtual uh, Windows 10, if you click on all resources and create a resource button, there you've got a list of what the Microsoft Azure can give you. So as example, if I type Ubuntu, it will give me a list of Ubuntu servers that I can create as VMs. If I delete that and I type Windows, it will give me everything for Windows. So I have Windows Server, Windows Web Apps, uh, Windows Server Generation 2, and here you go, Windows 10 by here. And another thing, if you, uh, you just want to mess around to try something, if you search for WordPress, you can create a WordPress uh, instance inside the Microsoft Azure, so you're going to have your own web server. I'm using this quite a lot for my work. So if I need to just to make a backup or something just for, for one of the websites, I'm just using this for, for quick, quick play around. By the way, I do use a uh, page you go. So I am on a page you go um, subscription. And so far I used, let's have a look how many I used, two pounds and eight pence. And I mean, I messed around with this for so long. I, it's like a Windows virtual machine number 30, I think I'm creating now. So I messed around quite a lot and uh, it's only two pounds and eight pence. Right, let's go back to virtual machines. Create a virtual machine, but I'm gonna go via all, ser all resources. And I'm just gonna show you that you can search like I showed you before and when you found your desired VM, click on it. It gives you option to choose which ones you want. I'm gonna choose Windows 10 Pro version 1903, the most recent or most latest. And I'll click Create. And now I need to start creating. Resource group, I will choose Mr. P. It's already been created, but if you don't have a group, resource group selected, you just click, you create a new one. Virtual machine name, Mr. P dash Windows dash 10. All the green text, that's correct. My region, I will choose Europe, UK South, Windows 10 Pro, uh, availability options, I'm gonna leave by default. Now size, 
is automatically selected for me D2 V2. So it's two virtual CPUs and seven gigabytes of RAM memory. So I'm going to click change it. And I do have options to, to basically select what I would like my VM to be. So this is, this is the one that I selected. And if I'm going to run this 24 seven, it's going to cost me 98 pounds per month to run it. So just for this kind of uh, tests, I'm just uh, A to Z by, by the price. Uh, come on, load up. Don't want to load up. Okay, let's try again. So the cheapest one is basically B1, which is, gives you half a gigabyte of RAM. But no, I'm not going to go that far. I'm actually going to actually, you know what? I'm going to leave with D2. Anyway, I'm going to delete this VM after this video. So I'm going to leave as it is. Uh, username will be Mr. P and a password I uh, will put QWERTY. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's asking me for 12, 223 characters long. So imagine somebody needs to enter their Windows password, which is 123 characters long. So I'm just entering this password, QWERTY. You can actually see this password uh, because, well, like I said, this VM will be deleted after I record the video. Obviously, I, click, I can click the review and create button. So it straight away jumps to the summary page and I can press button and create, but I'm gonna click next. And that's where I choose the hard drives. So I can choose standard HDD, standard SSD or premium SSD. I'm just gonna leave standard hard drive. I'm just, this for test purpose, I don't wanna really rack up lots of pennies. So it's all the networking, pretty much everything else I leave by default. So networking default, management default, advanced default, tags default, review and create. And now it's gonna tell me that my computer that I'm create, about to create will cost me 13 pence per hour. So as an example, let's say if you work in office and you need a virtual Windows 10 machine. So let's say if I'm gonna take 13 pence and you work eight hours a day, five days a week, four weeks a month. So using this machine will cost you about 20 to 25 pounds. So if you work in office and just you need a dedicated machine for a light work um, office stuff, so this is not bad. You obviously can select a different variation that this price will go even lower. So I'm just gonna click create. And now the Microsoft Azure is creating my virtual Windows 10 machine for me. The, it will take around 10, 12 minutes to create this. The, doesn't matter what kind of com configurations I try to use it, the creation time or the time to complete this is, is always between 10 and 10 and 12 minutes. So if I click on the bell icon on the top right, it says development in progress. And if I click on the development in progress, I should get the stats page. So it's giving me option, it's telling me what is being created. And just right now, a waiting game. So give me a second and what I'll do, in the magic of video editing, I'll come back when all this is created. Okay, so deployment completed. So I got notification saying deployment successful. So if I'll go to my virtual machines, I should see a Mr. P-Win-10 VM is running and <sighs> is somebody trying to, okay. Somebody probably trying to break in into my neighbor's house anyway. So I do have Windows 10 virtual machine running. If I click on it, it gives me a stats. So networking, CPU, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And there is a button here. It says connect. If I click connect, I do have oh come on, alarm is again. Anyway, let's carry on. I do have an option to select SSH, Bastion, or RDP. So I'm gonna leave RDP and I click then load RDB file. RDB file then loaded, I click open and it loads the straight away the Microsoft RDP Android app as it's detected that I'm opening RDP file. I'm going to say yes, connect. Username Mr. P, password QWERTY123456. And click connect. Asking me, do you want to save a password? Yeah, why not? And I'm logging in and what a surprise. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Am I dreaming? Am 
I dreaming? And why I'm saying this? My previous videos, two of them actually, um, GeForce Now game streaming service and Shadow. They both offer you a virtual Windows machine. And if I'm using GeForce or Shadow, I keep getting the black bars on the either side. Azure Windows 10, it's a full screen. Hmm, have a couple ideas for future videos. So if you want to see them, don't forget to subscribe. Oh my goodness, it is. So Windows 10 in Azure. So if I go to my PC, let's click on that. Let's do properties. Let's have a look what they what they're giving to us. And task manager. So more details, performance. So here you go. I have a Windows 10 virtual machine running inside Microsoft and I minimize the app. Inside Microsoft Azure uh, servers. So I do have 2.3 gigahertz Intel Xeon, e, Xeon E5, 7 gigabytes of RAM, 64 bits. So CPU is 100% at the moment because I think it's still doing all the bits that it requires. 36% of memory used. Dex, dick, <laughs> disk C. Disk C is 127, 127 gigabytes capacity. So I have 128. I have nearly 128 gigs of disk. So I have actually two. One is temporary storage, one is Windows. So I think temporary storage, right. Anyway, so this is running. Fine, fantastic. So if I click on this, I can click shutdown and I disconnect. Right, so. And now you're probably asking why I asked you to download Microsoft Azure Android app. Well, let's say you just connected your Dex and you wanna start using Microsoft Azure Windows 10 virtual machine. You need to go to your browser, go to Microsoft Azure website, log in, find your virtual machine. Okay, found it, select virtual machine, click connect, choose RDP and download the file, which is gonna add up to your downloads folder and then use it. With Microsoft Azure uh, app, so if I run the Microsoft Azure app, I click virtual machines. It detects my well, virtual machines. At the moment, I have only one, obviously. So if I click on that, at the bottom, I have options. Stop, restart, connect. Click connect. Boom. Straight away. Okay. Opens this up. Can you use a fingerprint? Yes. Fingerprint used. Okay. Can recognize. Let's enter the password manually. And boom, I am inside my virtual Windows machine. With a free a, a free account, uh, it's not well, it's not free of the page you go account. If I go to virtual machines and if I'm gonna say uh, select it and say stop, yes. So the virtual machine is stopping. There is a chance that my IP address will change. So next time when I will try to connect to a Windows machine, it's gonna create a new thumbnail and a new thumbnail and a new thumbnail. So all this will start building up and it's not really consistent. It sometimes happens, sometimes don't. But anyway, this is how you can create a Microsoft Azure uh, virtual Windows 10 machine and use it on your Samsung DeX. I will leave a link in the description below to more in-depth tutorial about Microsoft Azure and how all this is done by other YouTuber. Oh, great. Oh, okay, alarm's gone. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll find, I, I found the video by other, uh, other YouTuber who's explaining Microsoft Azure in more depth. I just went very quickly on here. Anyway, this is how you use Microsoft Azure and connect from TechStation. Please let me know in the comment section below what you think. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.